Hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS Learning and today in this video we'll be seeing about alternative of the famous describe method describe is a method used by almost uh, everyone who do some kind of a data driven task and if you're using pandas describe is the first step which anyone does to have a descriptive an uh, analytics about the data points in the data okay but there are other alternative methods which are much better than describe which will which we will be discussing in this video okay so let's uh, before going towards the alternative method uh, let's first see what describe is and let's say its documentation so let's go to the documentation of describe so here we can see that we have uh, three parameters one is percentile include and exclude so the default describe method uh, gives us uh, three uh, percentiles. One is the 25th percentile, 58th percentile and 75th percentile. But let's say if you want to have some another percentile which is not a part of this. So you can include it uh, as a part of a list, uh, pass it as a parameter to the describe method and you will be getting it. Let's say if you want to see the 90th percentile, so you, so you can explicitly pass a list with a 0 0.9 and you can have the 90th percentile for that feature. Okay. Then the other parameters are include and exclude. So what include and exclude does is uh, we know that we have uh, numeric features, categorical features. So if let's say if you want to uh, include uh, features on data set level let's say if you want to have all of them then you have a parameter of include with the value equal to all so let's say if you pass a keyword or uh, argument of include is equal to all so numeric categorical objective so every uh, data type will be considered in the describe method if so it's an option where you can exclude and uh, include things so if you let's say if you don't want any so you so you can remove it also okay so, so that is how it works okay now let's take a data set and we'll see how uh, what are the uh, output of describe and then we'll see its alternative the two alternatives which 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 we'll be discussing here will be uh, skimpy and the another one will be summary tools okay so be uh, before going to skimpy and summary tools let's start with uh, the basic describe okay so here i'll be uh, here i'm using the generate text data to uh, generate sample uh, data on which we'll be uh, applying our describe and uh, skimpy and summary tools okay so this generate test data will will be generating me some test data so this is how the, the test data looks. We have length, width, depth, then we have class. Okay. Yeah, this looks to be from Iris, right? Virginica, Setosa. <laughs> then we have location and then we have text also. And then we have uh, date time features also. So in this data set, we have uh, string features. Then we have categorical features, we have string features, we have date time, then we have numeric also. Okay. So let's first see what the plain describe do. It will by default take the numeric values. Okay. So separately, uh, here it is considering the date time values of uh, date and date no frequency and time difference as numeric only. It is considering them numeric and we will we are getting its count its mean value its minimum maximum standard deviation and the three percentile value okay so here the count is less than thousand because we must be having some null values okay now let's say if you want to have you want to have the categorical uh, features also there so all you need to do is include is equal to all and it will now be including all the features uh, so here it has included class also and text also so it is considering text and class as categorical itself 
for an actual you cannot consider text as a categorical feature because there is no fixed categories here it's a lot of text there okay so it's better to treat them as string it 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 makes things a bit uh, easier okay now we'll be seeing the first alternative that is uh, skim okay so here i have imported a uh, skim from skimpy uh, huge shout out to the developers of uh, skim i'll also walk you through their uh, github repo uh, it was data right uh, so just see the data the summary the descriptive summary which we are getting from skim it's it's uh, it's beautiful it's uh, the readability is high it's colorful and it's uh, and you are getting more data as compared to describe you are getting a simple data summary where you are getting the number of rows columns then we have the data types okay what kind of data types are covered here then uh, we have the categorical variables okay so here it is uh, interestingly treating only class and location as categorical variables string uh, this text is not being treated as a categorical variable uh, the another one it has treated is location uh, location is also there okay so this was categorical variable yeah now the next thing is uh, number then we have uh, uh, like number category date time string and a boolean so each of them has a different analytics okay the first is the number of uh, na uh, entries then the percentage of na entries then the mean value standard deviation percentile 0 25th 75th percentile 100 and the histogram okay so you are getting a small histogram also okay then uh, in categories uh, we have the unique values okay how many unique values are there whether they are ordered or not then we have the uh, missing values here and then we have the date time okay with the frequency the first and last date and the missing values then we have the string in string we are getting words per row okay we are getting the words per row how many words are there on an average per row and the total number of words then we have uh, boolean where we have a uh, histogram which uh, will be telling the boolean value to be true and false and we have a true rate also so we can see that it's almost 50 50 percent and then we have a time delta okay missing values mean median and the max so it's much more descriptive it's like a summary which you can save and take a screenshot and give it to your clients okay it's more beautiful uh, it is somewhat like uh, your half of the ed is also done by it right your half of the eda is done by the skimpy right now this was just they include all thing let's not ha huh. the next thing which we'll be studying would be uh, summary tools so here i've imported summary tools and here i'm passing the data i'll make this is collapsible true because i want to show you what that parameter does so it it is actually currently uh, collapsed and now like a grand entry it it opens up and here here also you're getting a graph the graph here is better as compared to skimpy in skimpy it's very small okay graph here is better you have the missing entries here the number and the percentage you're getting here then you have the frequency and the other stats like min minimum you're also getting its iqr ranges okay here you have the variables uh, respective variables okay so in this way we can see that uh, i'll say skimpy and uh, uh, summary tools they give a much more broader data than the normal uh, describe function okay now let's go to the uh, github repo of uh, summary tools and skimpy and let's just see the developers and what's the status of uh, the packages is it buggy or what's the status okay so skimpy pypy and the another one which we'll be doing would be 
समरी टूल्स पाए पाए सो दिस इज वॉट इज लेट स्टार्ट विथ स्किम पाए फर्स्ट मे बी ओके सो इट्स थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व सॉरी इट्स थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व स्टार्स ऑन स्किम पाए ऑन समरी टूल्स इट्स फिफ्टी थ्री स्टार्स द पॉपुलरिटी इज लेस सेवन फोक्स यर वी हैव फोर्टीन फोक्स ओपन इशूज यर आर एट ओके एंड यर ऑल यर इट्स जीरो ओके सो लुक्स लाइक स्किम पाए इज अ बेट पॉपुलर ओवर समरी टूल्स ओके समरी टूल्स ऑथर इज लियो लियो चौरान ओके ही इज अ मेंटेनर ऑफ दिस पैकेज and here you can also have the github repo and here the developer is uh, arthur tural and uh, you can have the github repo here also i think yeah from here you, you can get the github repo okay so yeah that's it with this guys if you find it uh, helpful and uh, it uh, it's uh, helpful to you so do give it a like share it with your friends and stay tuned to as for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out